Hello. Today I'd like to add a few words on tube lengthening. The topic is always urgent. It is probably the most painful problem for every weaver how to make the joints invisible. We did share a piece of advice on this topic a few years ago. I watched it once again recently and I'd like to add a few words. Well, I did recommend and I'm still recommending connecting the tubes in the point of crossing. If you weave in a rope like technique or in my case in a three tube rope. Earlier I used to cut the tubes at random. Now I'm using the technique I'd like to share with you. I turn the scissors in such a way to position the cut downwards. In this case, even if the joint is thin, the ugliest point will be down, a joint to the previous row. Let me show you once again, in case I fail to explain clearly. Reach the point of lengthening. There is a section of multi-layered roll, that's why I'm cutting the tube before it. Once again, neither this nor that way. Place the scissors so that you had a cut beneath. If you fail to insert one tube into another, you may flatten it. It depends on the type of roll. Make the tube end thinner this way. In case your tubes are smooth, you can do without. As a result, I've got a joint at the point of crossing and besides the most problematic point is directed downward. Once again. It looks like the tube is going to fit in without flattening. If you weave in a rope-like technique and your tubes are flexible enough, you can do without gluing. If the tubes are rigid, I often use universal polymeric adhesive. In this case, I've tried both methods. Take a look, please. Actually, it works without any glue. Well, I don't stick to any strict rule. It depends on the tubes I use. If the tubes are rather rigid, I do apply glue. If I try without glue and it works, I don't use it. There's no uniform rule. It is essential to direct the cut down. It is what I've discovered and wanted to share with you. It concerns rope-like weaving. Another technique I'd like to share is a new way to lengthen the tubes when weaving printed cotton. I've been always wondering how to make the tube joint invisible in printed cotton weave. Lately I've discovered the new technique when looking at the works by a well-known weaver Solnishko. Sunny. I've noticed the way she lengthens the tubes 
Try the method and I really like it. From the comments I've learned that different weavers use different techniques. But I'd like to recommend you the one I found out and like very much. Thanks a lot to the weavers who share their experience. So, I'm weaving with two working tubes on the even number of poles. So, I'm weaving up to the end of the tube. I've already cut it off. There's still a multi-layered point of rolling, but it is going to get hidden. So, place the tube and cut it where it is placed in front of the pole. Drop some glue. In this case, you cannot do without glue. And place the tube the tube end so that it was hidden behind the previous pole. And continue weaving. Well, if you look attentively, there is some thickening. However, compared to the stumps that used to stick from behind and I couldn't avoid them, it is a much better result. Take a look, please. I've reached the point of lengthening. Here is a tail left. Cut it. Flatten as much as you can. Then make a neat cut of the second tube. Flatten it as well. Cover with glue. Here is the tube end and lead it behind the previous pole. Press it carefully to prevent it from sliding out. Well, it did slide out, which means I've applied too little glue. Add some glue. Press carefully and continue working. If you look from this point of view, you can notice the joints consisting of double tubes. Well, there's another point. A tube end can be seen if they are a bit different in thickness. Do you see? But it is not a problem. Just follow it when weaving and smoothing the tubes before the glue fastens. I mean, these failures can be easily cured. In general, the work looks much neater, both from the inside and outside, to my mind. Besides, you can easily shift from one color to another when weaving multicolored items. Well, that's all. I wish you successful experiments. Maybe we'll find some better ways to lengthen the tubes. I'll be glad to get to know them. Thanks a lot to all of you for sharing your experience. In my turn, I try my best to share the new techniques I like.